So without further ado, let's begin the award ceremony. We're excited to recognize many of you. And the first category we will honor tonight and recognize is the best non-technical innovation in the research park. And many of you know that there are engineers and scientists in many different fields, but to make that technology get to market, it takes a lot of other types of skills as well and to make these operations successful. And so this award recognizes those that perhaps are not an engineer or software developer, but are, are contributing amazing things to their organizations and truly interdisciplinary teams create better innovation. So it's important to recognize those, those skills and accomplishments. And the first finalist for the award is Anna Chi. And I cannot see the gallery anymore. Let me try to get back to the gallery so I can see if I, um, I've got it on spotlight view, but maybe if Kathy, you can take me off of spotlight view and then I can see smiling faces. Do we see Anna? Uh, Laura, we can't uh, turn on video. It says that the host has it blocked. Okay, hopefully somebody fixes that soon. <laughs> All right, Trevor. I'm gonna ask you to start saying something nice about Anna, then we'll hopefully get it fixed in time for you to both be on video. Perfect, so uh, yeah, I can talk about Anna. So Anna has been uh, with Brunswick for over a year now. Uh, she started as an intern uh, at, the be at the beginning of last summer. Oh, I can turn on video. They're live from, live from Brunswick iJet Lab. Oh, even go. better on a boat is Trevor George, who nominated Anna Chi. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so Anna's been with us for a little over a year, and um, uh, what's been great with Anna is that she works on such a breadth of projects and uh, has really taken uh, quite a few things that we do to a new level. Um, one of the things I nominated her for was the uh, the newsletters that uh, she put together for us over the last year. We started out with something that was uh, kind of a uh, an interesting little. Uh, 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 news capture that that we highlighted some interesting things going on research park and she's transformed it into something that has the attention of our CTO CEO um, the CMO I get notes from them uh, thanking them for the thanking me for the content and thank her for the content and I know that they're reading it because they have commented about how uh, like a link doesn't work or something and they they reach out specifically lo looking for it so uh, she's done a fantastic job spotlighting other uh, interns, helping them get noticed by uh, the rest of the organization, helping them get jobs as a result of some of her fantastic work. Uh, she also does all of our storyboarding and user, uh, user interface uh, heuristic testing and user experience uh, 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 feature creation and uh, just been doing a fantastic job and has brought a tremendous amount of value and uh, as a result she ended up being a uh, uh, a full-time employee here now at Brunswick. So we just recently transitioned her from intern to full-time. So uh, congratulations, Anna, and thanks for the uh, great work. Awesome. So happy to see that Anna is going to be taking a full-time position. So I'm gonna keep going through the finalists. Again, we will invite the student to say a few words if you are selected as the winner of your category. And if you are the manager, we'll ask you to be the one who introduces your student as a finalist. The next one, is Matthew Waldinger from Abby. I don't know if we have Jerome here. Um, I am I am Jerome for today. Oh, so. <laughs> Kirsten Phelps is here. And I'm gonna say a little bit of something embarrassing is I bet Matthew Waldinger's mom is a friend of mine from college. So I'm gonna put him on the spot if it's Jenny Waldinger. And I did not know that as part of this award. So his, his parents, I think were student government or student student involvement at the University of Illinois. So that's my little bit of trivia of being around the University of Illinois a long time. Or he's gonna tell me I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, Kirsten, tell us about Matthew. Yes, yeah, so Matthew joined us this past November. So um, since joining us um, and then working a little bit over the past year and a half, he has taken on and really grown immensely in his role. He's our visual designer, not only for the AIC, but also more broadly for our different internal clients at Avvi. So I think one of the most interesting and challenging aspects that Matthew has had to work with um, is that he has multiple bosses. So he works with a lot of different people who have provided projects um, he has taken on, and they all think that their projects are the most important and the most um, needing to get done as soon as possible. And Matthew has taken on challenges 
um, around kind of scheduling, um, helping to support the creative process on storyboarding and ideation all the way through completion. So just a highlight of some of the ways that he has supported um, not only the AIC, but also the larger organization. He's um, consulted with businesses to help develop brands and logos from scratch to also redesigning existing logos for different organizations um, within AbbVie. He's created icons um, and new apps, has wireframed new websites. He's created graphics and layouts for our AbbVie Innovation Center year in review report that went to senior management and got a lot of accolades and feedback. He also developed graphics and an icon and a logo for our um, hackathon that we did in June, and also has done a ton on producing editing animations for our internal AIC events um, and videos, as well as um, videos for the larger organization to share new search tools from our AbbVie library um, and different um, groups as well. So he has shown immense creativity, flexibility, time management, um, and really wonderful communication skills. And I think one of the best testaments to how his work has been received at AbbVie has been as he's leaving his internship, um, one of his current clients asked if he would stay on to backfill a full-time designer um, who's taken a leave of absence. And so I think that that is a really great reflection of just his work ethic, um, professionalism, and creativity and what he's brought to AbbVie and our different stakeholders. So thank you, Matthew, and congrats on this nomination. Thank you so much, Kirsten. And thank you, Matthew, for all your uh, contributions to AbbVie. Congratulations to both of these finalists. They are both very accomplished as you just heard. And the winner for the best non-technical innovation research park uh, intern is Anna Chi. Congratulations, Anna. Anna, can you tell us, tell us a little bit more about what your work at Brunswick means to you? Um, something that I really enjoyed about Brunswick, which Trevor talked a little bit about, was just the breadth of projects I get to collaborate on. Um, I think uh, in school and in design um, class, you don't always get to collaborate with people from all across the field, but here at Brunswick, I get to talk to everyone from engineering to software development um, to even professional designers in the field, and I feel like it has really helped grow as a student and a designer and now as a full time. I know I'll continue to learn from the interns here. Uh, I really want to thank Trevor George and also Max Newberry, who was the software project lead who helped mentor me um, when I was an intern. Um, and I'm really just thankful to the Brunswick community for just helping me grow as a professional, as a designer, um, learning from their expertise and helping me kind of grow out of my own comfort zone and learn about other disciplines and how to talk to other people from other disciplines. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anna. And again, thank you for deciding to continue your career and journey with Brunswick. We hope you enjoy becoming a full-time employee and have many more contributions to come. Thank you. And congrats to Matthew as well.